Nana here. In this video, we are going to have a look at uh, the varrows getting defaulted upon the customer population on a sales order. This is another requirement, and I've already brought it. So let me go there and then share a screen. So in this place, if you go and then have a look at it, fine. Let me go and then create a sales order. Before which, we will now go for one more thing now, fine, that we have already uh, discussed upon the buy one, get one free. So it is on the similar lines. Let me go there. I will not have copied the customer again. Apple services and details. <coughs> I'm populating it now. So here I will not populate the item over here now. D0122 is a one, is a buy one, get one free. So if you buy, say, let us say six quantities on this now, <coughs> if you buy six quantities on this, you must get six free. Frank gave six and then you tab now. They're now having a sale price is 15 now. The sale price is there. So click on add now. So once when your customer confirms the purchase, now we have to have what? This must be six must be available free for him. Fine. Six more quantities must be available free for him. Now click on save now. So upon saving, nothing happens now. Fine. Once when you save it, nothing happens now. So 11, 7, 3, 6, 2, 1 is there. Fine. Let you submit. If you submit it, what happens? The system adds one more line as a free. Item. Click on submit now. Fine. Submitting is nothing but customer booking. So the customer is confirming the purchase. And so what happens? It gets booked. So upon booking, you can now see one more line gets added over here. So for the same quantities of six. And then go there, the price will be at zero. So you'll now see, but how it has been done now. Right click and duplicate now. <clears throat> so we'll now go there, click on it, and then we'll now go to the uh, setup and maintenance, and then have a look at the task manage product transformation also. Click on it. Go to the search and go to the manage product transformation works. So click on it. So manage product transformation rules is uh, basically for pre-transformation as well as post-transformation now. So I have now uh, made two things with the help of technical actually, and I, I, I cannot do this at you. I click on expand it now. And first of all, B1, G1, and now expand one of them. The product transformation rules. So uh, he has asked me to use this now, find order transformation rules dot fulfill line vivo dot inventory item, find something like that is so-and-so. So first of all, we had to identify the item ID actually. So here in order management, most of them are basically the advanced concepts are technical in nature. We cannot populate our item over here. We have to only populate the ID actually. So for which uh, he has given me a routine also, but how to do it now? And we'll click on it. So go to this place, I will now go to the order management documentation, in which I will now go for the buy one, get one free, and we'll click on it. He has told me about how to uh, what happens after time the item ID and then the org ID. Fine, go there. So he has given a procedure for going over there. Now. Go to the analytics now. Find the reports on analytics. I have to go there and then I do this. And then he has given me the step by step procedure. And then he has asked me to execute this select statement. So this select statement, if you execute it on that place, what happens? If you, you go via this now. It is now giving me the item ID as well as org ID also. The item ID is also given. The org ID is also coming from my. So all these things. So the item ID I have taken up fine three two one eight. It is now ending up in this place. So if you go there and then have a look at it, so it's uh, I think uh, something some other item. Maybe that may be a different item actually. And this item for which whatever I done it. And then uh, he has uh, he has asked me the second line add it now fine same or more than three. If it is more than three only you'll be getting it. If it is less than three you will not get. It. But again he has given asset new on this the if condition then condition is asset new. And then order transformation rules dot add new order line. And then he has given this now. Fine. If you click on edit now, and go there, click on edit, and then you can now see uh, this is the one the value is coming. Fine, well, there's orders, order transformation rules. This is what is coming. Fine. This is order transformation rules dot fulfillment line view dot view row IMPF. Fine, that is what is fine. This is the way it's somewhat tough actually fine to write it actually. And then uh, this way it works actually. <clears throat> so uh, we have done it, and then because of which it's not running. So now uh, the requirement is what uh, again. Writing is really very difficult online. There are plenty of operators over here. Asset, new, assign, call, modify, retreat. And then here again, uh, you've got plenty of things over here now. But we have to do all these things now. Now I will now come up with the Varrow's defaulting. So here uh, we are writing a if statement directly. Whereas in a Varrow's defaulting, he has asked me to do it in a different manner now. Slightly what I want to go there. The Varrow's defaulting. He has asked me to enable the advanced also. And we have to enable the advanced now. So once when the advanced is enabled, it comes in a different manner actually. Uh, I don't know where exactly it is. Yeah. Now, the, once when you enable the advanced, if you go there, click on it, click on it. 
the advanced mode is enabled actually in this one the advanced mode is enabled so before we write the uh, what happens in the statement uh, it comes as this line plus this line that is in a buy one get one free if you see this now fine we are now writing directly again <clears throat> so the if statement has got two lines now before the if statement there is nothing here because advanced mode is not selected in the buy one get one free so we have to selectively choose the advanced mode sometimes yes sometimes no fine again what exactly is made free mode there are plenty of things are there and then there are plenty of operators over here fine we have to read this actually we have to have a full understanding of it then only what happens we can ourselves write it otherwise if you give it to the technical guys they will now write and give it to you so here they have got two if conditions and then uh, uh, the item has to be this and then if the order quantity is more, more than three then we are getting uh, three free actually it is now inserting a new line with a zero price so the zero price is now inserting we have now seen this now that's one of it so in this place we can see that it is now inserted with a zero price actually upon customer booking <clears throat> so but i cannot write it right? now i ask him what happens if you buy three i will now give two free now if i buy three get two free and it will be recurring he tried and then he couldn't succeed actually he left it as a chop and he needs he say i need some patience and then i had to write it some more the then condition has to be what happens it has to insert a line and then modify the line also for every three two has to be given free now so he didn't have the patience and so left it as a chop but uh, here uh, putting an advanced pricing is somewhat a very difficult task as far as this thing is concerned and then this requirement also has been given by him and then what about i will not show you but how he has done it now first of all i know the requirement actually so if you give it done now so once when you populate the customer one of the customer one of the client was having many many locations in the country and then items are available in almost every every uh, warehouse is it but the cost to serve must be low so if you want to have the cost to serve as low we have to ship it from a nearest uh, warehouse where the customer is situated the customer's address ship to address is here so for which what happens he has to operate the warehouse over here in this place what we go there to the shipping area in this place we have to shipping and then he is not having any gop and so we only have to populate the warehouse manually actually we have to populate the warehouse manually uh, and this year x mark is coming because i not given the warehouse actually number so there's a different thing but uh, our idea is to mainly show only the buy one get one free so the warehouse uh, in this case what happens as soon as you populate the customer it has to automatically default <clears throat> so go there and then uh, now upon booking it is not defaulting because what happens i have now disabled the now i have disabled the warehouse is not disabled so let me enable and show it you how it is written go there and see and then here uh, if you go and then see on this buy one get one free this writing of this then condition is a very important one so that so here in this place if so and so condition is there what happens is not there so you go there so here uh, he has added the advanced mode in which what happens the header is now given is the order transformation rules dot header we go right for which the header dot sold to party id is so and so so we had to identify first of all the party id of the customer which is now being populated the sales order and then afterwards here he has written this now and the the warehouse has to be populated if you click on the edit mode on the then statement it says that what happens there is a string now find attribute name string is what this is the one uh, which is really very difficult actually find fulfill org id it is capital f and then capital o and then capital i right it has to be in double quotes actually do that and then the org id has to be a constant now find make it as a constant and then here we had write the what header on bureau impl so writing this then then statement requires a skill actually fine if you write it properly what happens you'll be able to do it now fine so what i did this in this exercise i have now given what effective from so and so date from uh, uh, i have given a future date of first of october actually fine let me make a change of this date now fine effective from so and so fine go that you make a change now and go that i will now make it as what september <clears throat> and then i will now put some date in this we going to make it as effective from today so that it will be effective now fine I made a big change on this now. Fine. So it is now effective today. So today is twenty seventh, and so what happens? It will definitely be applicable now. So or otherwise, what happens? You cannot make it as always also. And if you make it as always, it will be always be effective. So I have given a from date from twenty fifth of October. Fine. Go there. Click on it, and then let me save it now. Fine. Let me click on save, and then let me release it. <coughs> now this will be effective. And click on release. So I am going to release it now. So click on release. The rule was released to production. <coughs> now we go there. We will now make a new sales order. Click on done. So the rule was released to production. If I click on create an order now, so this time what happens? We are going to have a look at it. Go there, go lock it down. Now the warehouse is coming. The previous case when we are testing the buy one get one free, the warehouse was not coming. Now it will come. Now. So computer services and vendors is the one. Go there, click on it. So if a customer is populated, they want the warehouse to be automatically defaulted. I will now put some item over here. Now. Uh, see, <coughs> I will now put it. Go there. Let me put this item. Oh, some of the item, any item is okay. I'm going to test. I'm not putting it. Click on it. Click on it. 
the first CM item I'm putting in the front of it. So click on add now. Now you can see the warehouse getting defaulted once when the customer commits. Once when you, come, when you submit the sales order, as of now the, the supply, what happens, you won't find anything at all. The warehouse won't find that. So click on submit by which, what happens, you know, understand this. <clears throat> so once when you submit it, we will now, <clears throat> we'll now get the customer, right? get the warehouse getting defaulted on this one. Okay. Now approval pending is there. So once when you, uh, the processing has come, now if you go there, click on this, not find there, click on this, and go to the supply, the warehouse is gone. So we will now try to uh, identify. Now what he says is that we have to identify the cust ID as well as the org ID now. Right? For which what happens, he has given me a query now. So to the query, what happens, we can very well execute it and then identify for all the customers, maybe 800 plus customers, and then for all the warehouses, some 30, 40 warehouses, first of all, we had to have this list actually. Right? So uh, first initially, what happens in the test instance, he asked me to populate a sales order because via sales order is easy now right? for each and every customer. What happens? You populate once uh, a customer and then go there and then do it and then what happens afterwards? You can do it now. Fine. We, we need the sales order ID for which what happens? Given a query now. Fine. Go click on it. And now have a look at it. So go to this place. Go to order host. <clears throat> so here uh, I will now go to uh, one. And then here I will now one. Where was the defaulting upon customer? So this is one. So he has asked me to execute the query and then once when you execute the query, you'll be getting both what the sold to party ID as well as the fulfillment org ID. Both are getting it. So we'll now use a different one now. Fine, go there, click on it. So we'll now go and use a different one. Click on that now. So we're going to make a list of it. So we'll now create a grade out. But I will not use the computer services and this time. I will now use a different uh, uh, customer now. Go there. <laughs> it's ABC. I will now put something. I will now say ABC application software is coming. ABC application software and go there. So on which uh, what happens? I will know. I want uh, what? Yeah, what's called the 002 has to be defaulted. Fine, it's not 001. Fine, 002. Fine, Atlanta has to be defaulted. You know, click on save. Now I got a sales order in which what happens? The customer and then the where Atlanta is not coming. So now we have to execute a query now fine, for this particular sales order number. So 117363. If you execute it, if you go there and then have a look at it now. Fine. So if you execute this now, fine, you know, close it now. <clears throat> if you execute this query now, <clears throat> if you execute this query, uh, uh, what happens? You'll be getting the sold to party ID as well as the fulfillment organ. Both of them will be getting it. So uh, there is another shortcut of executing it. We need not have to go via uh, reports and analytics. So there is an Excel add-on available now. Right? So you can even go via the Excel add-on and then you can query it now. So I'll tell you about how to do it now. Right? Here, what happens? Go there. So first, you go to my website. My website is oraclenana.com. So go to my website, oraclenana.com. So that's my website. And then I'm selling my records, actually. Fine, if you go to the XCM agenda, fine, click on the XCM agenda. Here, what happens? I'm now selling approximately uh, 11 plus 5, 16 modules now, or one more module is all added now. I'm now selling 17 modules for 10,000 rupees now. So you can even uh, click on the agenda now. Fine, click on here to click on the agenda, then have a look at it. So the entire agenda which is now running into 46 pages. You can have a look at it. And then if you're satisfied with this, you can even write to me and then I will now send you the bank details for making a payment now. So it will be teaching you uh, the things to a great depth. You can even compare this agenda with anybody in the market and then see whether how it's okay or not. Right? So there are some exclusions on the procurement as well as an order management. Now have a look at it now. If everything is satisfied for you, then you can write to me and then uh, you compare the agenda with others also and then see about how they are covering and then how this is being covered. And then if you're still satisfied, if you're satisfied, then what happens? You write to me and then I'm not sending the bank details for this. No, fine. It will be covering uh, the entire thing. Fine. It's approximately 200 plus hours of teaching on this 11 modules. Fine. This 11 modules approximately 200 hours of uh, teaching. Uh, many of them are in Ebus and then three of them are in uh, uh, what happens here, uh, or Fusion now. So you can do this. Now, let us now come to this particular topic now. So on this website, what you can do is you can go to the discussion form. You click on the discussion form. So once when you click on the discussion form, you can even log in now. Fine. I have now already logged in because of which is not coming up. Fine. Let me log out. Fine. So here, what you have to do is you have to first of all register and activate. Now. In the top, you have a registration. Fine. Click on the registration, and then it now click on agree, and then go ahead, and then put your details over here now, and then it will now send you an email, and then in the email, if you click on it, what happens? It will get activated actually. So you have to register and activate. So you do that now. So that what happens only when you activate the account, then only you can uh, download and then do the posting actually. I click on login. So I am now logging into my BB actually. So I am an admin here now. So I am now logging in in this one. <clears throat> so I logged in. 
and then if you go to the oracle distributions what happens there are plenty of informations available you can offer so many informations are available so many useful informations are available you can very well uh, download those things and then uh, whichever is of interest for example md5070 there are so many topics are there but whichever is of interest for whatever you go there and then you can download those things fine provided you activated if you don't activate it you cannot download it. you have to activate it so click on the link sent to your mail and then activate your account and then afterwards whatever you can download it now so here uh, i have given you one such thing on the sql query i find very excel sheet click on it this is what else so in this place if you see sql query <clears throat> from excel fusion applications one and you have to go to uh, there is a attachment also this video also will explain you fully so otherwise what happens you go there go to the cloud x club and this is the website now and go there and then uh, here uh, you can uh, very well go there and then register it now <clears throat> so this will now tell you fully about how to buy this now fine it is actually free for the first year actually fine. club x which and go there so it explains you everything and then there is a video also fine it will now run you and tell you about how to do it now fine so follow on screen instructions and then install the excel add in so i have already added the excel add in so once when you buy it once when you buy it what happens they will now give you a one year free license afterwards it may be you may have to pay i'm not sure about it but uh, the first year they say it's a free one right go there click at the download so once when you click on the download what happens it will now ask you to register every details now and then afterwards it will now uh, give you a license now. they'll be giving you a license so once when the license is obtained so what you can do is you can go there and then do it It, it can execute the Excel query fine, very easily in this place. Fine, over. I will now open the Excel sheet now. I have already got the license and then it has been installed in my machine now. Fine, over. So here you can now see, but how it's now. <clears throat> so I will now close it. Fine, here what happens? Uh, there are so many sheets are there. Out of which what happens? The Club uh, Cloud X Hub is another sheet now. Fine, click on it now. Fine, over. Click on Run Excel Fusion Excel. So I have already put the license fee. Fine, you have to follow the on-screen instructions and then populate your license key on there. So now, so it gets installed. And then here uh, I have my instance here up to com. I have put it over here. There's a username and then there's a password. Now here, what happens? I'm going to write the SQL query. So once when you write the SQL query, uh, you will be getting all the details. Now, fine. In this case, what you're going to do is we are not going to go for what. Uh, we'll not go there. So for the ABC application software, we want Atlanta. Fine. So this pair we are going to identify now. Fine. We have to identify that. What happens? The customer ID as well as the org ID. Now. So this query is now going to give it to you. Now, fine. Let's click on it. So this query is going to give it to you. So go there and then take a copy of this query now. Click on it. So let us now take a copy of the query. Now. <coughs> Select it and then what happens? Take a copy. <coughs> My grandson has started crying now. <laughs> so take a copy of it and then here you go there. Go to the Excel sheet and then paste the query over here. Paste the query over here. <coughs> One second. Now. So I have copied this one. The username, the password, and then the environment has to be given. The license key is already registered. I will now run the query. Now. So eleven seventy three fifty five is my sales order. So it has got eleven seventy three sixty three. I will now make it down. Eleven seventy three sixty three. I will now make a change. Eleven seventy three sixty three. I am going to make a change now. Let me run it. Click on run query. So once we run the query, it will now give you the results of what the sold to party ID as well as the fulfillment org ID. Fine. These things will be given. Click on it. So we got it. Now click on OK. The query has got executed now. Fine. Now we have to see this one over. So you go there, right click, and then go to the format, and then format cells, and then I make it as a number side. What happens? You make it as zero, and then I click on OK. Now. So it will show the numbers. So we have the sold to party ID as well as the fulfillment org ID available over here now. So we got the sold to party ID as well as the fulfillment org ID, and let's now populate on our. product transformation tools now so when abc application software i want atlanta to come over so we got for the atlanta the org id as well as the party id so here i will now go there and then close it and click on it so this is a b1 g1 is now already completed and now where is defaulting and we'll expand it so here he has asked me to use the advanced mode right which what happens we will now have uh, one more information basically on this now uh so the below the below the uh, before the statement or as it comes over here now so that advanced mode is now coming and we click on it so here is given everything and then the second line fine there's a first line and then the second line there are two lines there in this place fine what else and then in this place let us now replace it with the party id you know fine so to party id and then replace it fine now try it go there and then click on the excel sheet and then take out the copy now so the party id is what is the one so take copy it and then populate on this place now Delete it and then populate. So now done. 
can do that. So there is no need for the magnifier. If you can, uh, it is, this is not a list of values actually. Can, no need to have the magnifier. And then this place, so then the den. So if I click on it, I can so here identifying this attribute string is very very important. When fulfill or ID F O and then I are caps with the, within double quotes not otherwise. So if you know uh, how to find out the values of each and every field of a sales order, you please uh, tell me so that what happens it will be easy for us to identify each. Right? So in the attribute value, what happens? You know, make a change or there's nothing like that. Zero zero two R, you know. Okay, right. So do that. So the fulfill R ID is this one. You take a copy of it. Then put on this place you now. And then again, writing this is also very difficult you now. So this is again a constant you now. Click on it. Click on okay. I made so these two changes. You know, click on it. So I made what happens? The customer ID as well as the uh, the R ID I have changed on this if the then statement on the product transformation tool. You know, click on save you now. So let me publish it. So click on it. I'm going to release it now. <clears throat> but really, writing it is very difficult. If you know, but how to write the product transformation rules, it will be nice. And we can even now what happens only upon booking it's fine. Even uh, on saving also it will fire. And that is what he says. So we can even you have to write it appropriately in a appropriate manner. You have to write the even statements so what happens upon even saving on the fire. This will not fire only upon booking now. Fine. Click on release now. I'm going to release it now. So once when you release it, what happens? The rule has been released to production. There's no coming. Fine. Click on okay now. Yes. Now we'll now go there and then make a new sales. Click on cancel now. So upon booking, uh, now it is in a draft stage. Actually, fine. This itself, uh, what happens? I now already put this one time. Let us now go for a new sales order and show it here. And you cancel now. So click on create order. So here, drop it down and then choose it now. <clears throat> and then this is as the ABC application software. Go there. Click on it. So the CSR need not have to worry about uh, what exactly it is now. Uh, which warehouse he has to do it fine for every ship to address if you have already identified this and then um, done the uh, the product transformation rules it will automatically do. click on add now so i'm not going to add it it's not having any price actually fine because of which it may even give a problem fine let us go there i will not put my d0 d0 uh two two now it's basically yeah. buy one get one free for which order you'll be getting a price actually d0 uh, yeah, D zero one two. So that will be having a price actually. I'm going to tab now. That will be having a price. And so what happens? You can now see for the ABC application software, you have to get what your uh, Atlanta also over there now. Yeah. So oh, this is a customer specific pricing or something like that because of which is not happening for this is not happening. It doesn't matter. We leave it now. Uh, we will now go ahead fine. because somebody has uh, done something. Uh, that's not fine. But the pricing is not coming. It will not make it. Our main idea is what in the warehouse it has to come. Supply area, the warehouse has to come as a plant after the rest. So give a save now upon saving, it's not coming. So once when you submit it, what happens? It will be fine. So once you submit it, the price has not come because of uh, some setups by somebody and it comes up it. Only for the computer services, it is all done from the different customers. The customer specific pricing has been set up, I think, probably. Order validation, all these things are coming. Thank you. They're all only warning now. Thank you. Okay. So we will not do it now. Now you can see the warehouse coming up. So, uh, once when everything is set properly upon population of a customer and then upon submitting it, right, even on the draft stage itself, it has come a point. Uh, uh, we are unable to submit it, but uh, uh, some rules will now fire before uh, submitting it. Some will be firing after submission. So, we have to make a lot of analysis on the product transformation rules. If anybody has mastered it, please let me know. And then, if you have any good documents also, we will be in a position to write it very properly. And you us. So with this, what happens? I complete this now. Fine. So the warehouse getting populated upon customer has been done via a product transformation rules. So here uh, in this place, if you see, uh, there are many activities on the order management, like uh, the product transformation rules, which has got a pre-transformation as well as a post-transformation, the extensions, and then the pricing algorithms, and then uh, likewise the business rules. These are all the four uh, major things which are uh, technically oriented. So otherwise, you are able to do the what's called the coding. It will not be possible in Evis. Uh, we can very well uh, do so many things on the advanced pricing. Fine, like incompatible modifiers, buckets, and then uh, uh, promotions like buy one get one free, other item discounts, offer discounts. There are plenty of such promotions of that kind. And the term substitution, everything can be done very easily by the functional concern. And here it is not so. And you need to know something more upon this now. Fine. So there are. You can, they say that you can, it is even more flexible than you use. So many things can be done, but uh, how to write the code? That is very, very difficult. And another way is you know the flow in which what happens, uh, the ADF and XML are basically you know, programmed actually. 
So if anybody knows it, uh, please uh, write to me and then I will also learn it from you. Fine. And then write to me at oracle nana at oraclenana.com or otherwise nana.app60.gmail.com at gmail.com. And that means you just write to me. So that what I will also learn and then I will not teach uh, on these aspects. Now. So now in this one, uh, we are now just completed uh, learning about how to default a barrows upon populating a customer in the sales order. And likewise, you can do one dozen. So there are so many things that one thing is you must you be able to understand about how to write the product translation tools, your extensions, your pricing algorithms, and then the business rules. If you do it, you can do a lot of things on order management. With this, we will now see you in the next video. Bye.